Okay guys, so part of my project with the server storage upgrade is that I'm going to be adding a remotely located server. However, I've run into, um, well, it's just a minor hiccup, but I thought it'd be an interesting tip. So I need to take this LSI 9248i uh, RAID card and I need to quickly copy all of the essential data that I'm going to be doing nightly synchronizations from this array the uh, the 8 by 3 terabyte array from my Windows Home server. So I don't want to do that first sync over the internet. So what I want to do is I want to install that other RAID card in here. Um, and then install the other drives in here so that I can do a, do a quick copy. So the challenge is that this motherboard only has two PCIe 16x slots. However, based on some quick math, um, PCIe 1X 2.0 is good for 5.0 gigabit per second, which is plenty for this PCIe 4X Ethernet card. So what I really want to do is install the 4X card in that 1X slot. So if you guys know about PCIe, um, you'll know that the first pins here, these guys right here, that's all of your power and whatnot. Um, and then everything from here on is data. So the only thing that makes this a 1X slot and this a 16x slot is how many pins it has for bandwidth. So some motherboard manufacturers are considerate enough to leave these um, edges open here so that you can install 4x or 16x cards in a 1x slot and they will work. However, my Intel board in my home server doesn't have the, the ending open like that. So to give myself the option of installing higher end cards in there, what I have to do is and I'm, hold on, give me a sec, guys. So I've had a few promising ideas. Sorry, guys, I've got to keep my voice down. Baby's sleeping. Um, but it looks like none of them are going to be applicable to um, the, say, uh, the system that's installed already, the motherboard that's in the case. So idea number one was melting. So I used my torch to heat up the tip of this blade and then slice through the back of it so that it would accommodate a bigger card. Now the problem with melting is that I had issues with some of the melted material moving this way towards the pins. That's going to be a real big problem because you don't want to lose any pins from a PCIe 1X interface. So I scrapped that idea. Next idea was seeing if I could cut through the plastic with a razor blade and slice it on either side. Um, the problem with that one was that it required far too much force and if you slip with a razor blade you're going to cut a bunch of traces and it's going to be bad all around. And idea number three was to use a Dremel. Use a cutting wheel on a Dremel to grind through the back of it. This one looks like it's probably going to work, but unfortunately with the other motherboard which is installed in a case, with things in the way, you can see I can't get the Dremel in straight and I don't have one of those extension bits. So uh, I'm stuck for now, but uh, thanks for coming along with me for the ride, guys. So I decided to pull the board out and we're just going to go for it. Um, I haven't actually tested it successfully on my test board yet, but we're just going to use the Dremel and uh, file out that back piece and see if we can install this PCIe 4X NIC card into the PCIe 1X slot. Well, right now it's, yeah, it won't fit. So it'll run at 1X speed, but PCIe 2.0 1X, and this is a 2.0 card, is a 5 gigabit per second, so we should be okay. Alright, so I did one run at it with the Dremel and cleared all the debris out. Hopefully you guys can see this, but it's mostly clear. One of the pins, that top right one, seems to have broken in half while I was dremeling, but it looks like it should still make contact. So it should still be able to pass data and it should be okay. All this is in theory. Of course I don't recommend doing this at home, folks. Um, so I do have to take another pass at it because it's not quite clear. I wish that my Dremel could run in reverse because then instead of throwing all of the gunk into the slot, it could throw it out, but uh, such is life. So I'm going to take another run at it and I'll see if I can fit the card in. Actually, the card fits in now, so let's just find out if it works. Here we go, I'm throwing it back in the server. Lo and behold, it works. There's my four gigabit network adapters. There's my network adapter installed in the bottom PCIe 1X slot. And uh, there's the network cables all plugged in. So I've got my Adaptech RAID card here for testing, my Arica RAID card that my actual storage runs off of, and then my four port NIC, all installed. Yay!
and all hopefully with enough bandwidth for what I'm using them for. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips and also don't forget to wear appropriate safety glasses whenever working with a Dremel. If I could hit the switch, I could end this video.